For this step of practice, our focus is going to be on the x-ray style. We're taking everything that we've done in the previous steps of practice and continuing to apply them here while focusing on those areas of overlap to really bring out this x-ray style within the painting. So start out with a light wash of color, so a good amount of water mixed with whatever color you're going to be using for the flower petals. For the next step on top of the wash, pick a technique from practice that you want to work with that you think might be something you would use on your final project. So this is uh, just kind of figuring out what you like versus what you don't like for when you get to your final project so you can really be confident with what you're working with. I chose to use the dry brush technique here as it's going to give a nice texture of the flower petals. I'm adding this technique throughout the entire flower petals and I'm focusing on those areas of overlap. What's going to really create this x-ray style is making sure those areas of overlap are emphasized and have a darker shadow or darker value in those uh, middle sections where they overlap. I'm just continuing to work my way around with this uh, dry brush technique. I'm using different colors, so I have uh, some purples in here, some red, just to give some variety. Uh, try out and experiment with some different ideas, different colors, techniques as you're working. Um, here you'll notice that I'm continuing the dry brush right across where uh, the line here does overlap with the other. And like I said before, this is what's going to create that x-ray style is having the two different directions of the lines. And then as I add more layers, it's going to continue to darken up and create more of that shadow in this middle section. So I'm just wrapping up with the dry brush technique, bringing this all the way around the outside. And then the next thing that I want you to work on is adding another layer to really emphasize value. So look at the reference picture and look at the areas that are dark versus light. Look at those darkest areas, which is pretty much around the outlines and try to build and layer those up. So having a good amount of contrast is going to add a bit more realism into this x-ray style that we're working with. Uh, so what I'll be doing here in a minute is grabbing a little bit more paint using a darker color. When you're working with paint, if you mix the complementary color in with whatever color you're working with, it will darken and dull it to create a nice uh, outline or a nice value for these shadows. So if you're working with red, for example, you'd want to add a touch of green mixed with it to dull down that value. So I'm just going over the outline and then instead of leaving just a dark line around the outline, I'm dragging that brush down and uh, continuing to blend out that color to give a smooth, smooth transition from light to dark. Again, in those areas of overlap here, I'm focused on bringing out the different directions and darkening the value. Once you're finished with this darker outline, the last step is going to be using a Sharpie in order to bring out a little bit more detail on the top layer. So this is something that you may not do for your final project, but it's just to give you another direction that you can take things and another way to uh, really add detail and take your project to the next level. Now here I'm using a thin Sharpie and this is adding a great texture on top, but it is hard to see in the video. So I switched to a thicker Sharpie so that you can see the lines a little bit better. But I'm basically using hatching and this is where I'm putting lines close together at varying lengths in order to bring out, like I said, the texture, and then just to continue to push the value change. And those areas of overlap you can see are starting to really darken up and more of that x-ray style is starting to become more apparent as you go. Um, so I'm adding these lines in the area where it did overlap. You'll see more of the cross hatching. So the lines going in the different directions. Uh, and then I'm varying these lines at different lengths. Uh, you could use instead of line, maybe more of a scribbling technique or scumbling, um, blending, try different ideas out. So when you do get to your final project, like I said before, you'll know what works versus what does not work. So here you can really see that texture uh, with the Sharpie on top of the painting.